Well, it looks like uh, spring has sprung again for the seventh or eighth time. I, I keep losing track. Anyway, it's another gorgeous day here. And I got, I got a wild here to bake some cookies, but not just any cookies, mind you. These are a special kind of peanut butter cookie, and I'll explain as we go in what makes them special. Mm -hmm. Let's see my honey. I'll let my lover muffin, as it were, surprised me with a Valentine's gift last night. So we don't normally celebrate. Yeah, he'll he'll usually give me a card or something or, you know, something, something like that. But he outdid himself last night. Yep. So I'm getting ready to uh, respond in kind and do something a little extra special for him. Jelly beans, y'all. He brought home a bag of my favorite kind of jelly bean and a card and supper. Trifecta. Anyway, so I'm going to make them some special cookies. These are a peanut butter cookie with a couple of little twists along the way. And I'll share those with you so you too can make some special cookies for your honey or yourself. And remember, these are going to freeze great. All right. First thing we're going to do, because this is noisy and it's easier for me to edit it out now. I have about, it's about a cup of honey roasted peanuts in here. And I'm just gonna pulverize the dickens out of them. I don't want them powdery, but I just want them kinda, you know, bitsy-fied. You don't want to overdo it because if you over process them, they will they will turn back into their motherland of peanut butter. That's how peanut butter is made, y'all. It's that simple. So we're going to set this off to the side for just a scant minute. Blade out of here. So far, nothing complicated, right? And you'll see that I have a recurring theme in everything I fix for you guys. It's easy. I don't like to do anything complicated. Well, I do, but that's for another video. Okay, now to my stand mixer, I'm going to add half a cup softened butter. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. If all you have is margarine, go right ahead and use that plastic part now. I'm just kidding. I'm not anti-margarine. Just butter makes everything taste better, but as expensive as it is, unless you've got your own cow, sometimes it's pretty hard to come by real butter. I get it. We're gonna add a cup of smooth peanut butter creamy peanut butter. Now, I like to make my own peanut butter. In fact, I like to make all of my own nut butters. I've done hazelnut, almond, walnut, pecan, and certainly peanut butter. And rather than using all the sugars and everything, I use local honey. It is the bomb diggity. Now, to the peanut butter and butter, we're going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Okay. And we're going to add three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar. Guys, it doesn't matter if you use the light or the dark. The dark is gonna give it a probably a richer flavor. I'm using light 
but both will work just fine. Two and three. All right. And this is the portion of the program where I like to preheat the oven. So we're going to heat this to 350 degrees. That simple. All right. So in our stand mixer, let's recap. We have one cup of creamy peanut butter, homemade or otherwise. We have a quarter cup white granulated sugar, three quarters of a cup brown sugar, now we're going to mix this all together and we'll let it get good and creamy. Y'all know the drill. Drives me with sugar and I always get that little bit stuck on the rim. Let's give her a whirl, shall we? Wasn't that fast? I probably time-lapsed you or sped you up right there at that point so you didn't have to keep listening to the mixer. But now to this, we're gonna add one large egg. And this is a Dorothy egg fresh this morning. She's such a good girl. Now we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. That's my homemade vanilla, y'all. It smells so good. All right, let's mix that up. I probably time-lapsed you again. Now let's get on with our, our dry ingredients. I have a cup and a half all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add eh, half a teaspoon of salt. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to mix it all together. Give it a quick whisk, you know. Always keep your sides scraped down because you've got, you know, clumps of flour and still quite a few wet ingredients that are stuck to the sides. So just give it a quick scrape. Now, y'all, those peanuts we pulverized, let's go ahead and add those now.
looks amazeballs. All right, clean off our beaters. I used to love making peanut butter cookies when I was a kid. Because you got to bust out with the fork and make the really cool little designs in the top. Since I was an art student, I tended to get a little creative. Anyway. Much to my mother's chagrin. So I just want to make sure that everything is well mixed together. Now I know that there are a lot of recipes out there that tell you to chill it. You don't have to with this with this recipe. You know, if you're following some fancy schmancy New York Times bestseller recipe, maybe you ought to follow it if it tells you to do it. I don't. Not this recipe. Now we're going to take our cookie scoop. Guys, this is where it gets fun. I love this part. Scoop it out. It's about a tablespoon. I'm going to roll it into a ball. And then I'm going to roll it in vanilla sugar. Guys, if you haven't added vanilla sugar to your baking, do it. Ugh. The smell alone is worth it. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of balls, put them on our sheet. We're gonna, we're gonna space them out about two inches. And these are gonna spread a little bit. Guys, they don't have to be perfect, okay? They don't have to be perfect. I promise you they'll get eaten. Golly, these are gonna be amazing. I hope. Don't, don't freak out if it looks like it's closer to two tablespoons. Just form the dough into balls. It'll all be okay. I promise you, nobody's going to sling you. Well, I think it's safe to say nobody's going to impale you on a 50-foot tall pole out in front of the king's castle. We've been studying Esther. If you haven't checked it out yet, four sisters digging into the word every Monday night at seven o'clock. All the women of the Thursday night homestead hangout. So Mrs. Christine Gillum um, Tara from White Rock, Miss Ginger from Not For Nothing, and of course Ms. Lisa from Nine Acre Family Farm. Y'all head over there on Monday night. Get your cup refilled. Pretty awesome stuff. Anyway, the point is, don't fret about the size. Really don't. And don't overthink it. You don't have to be perfect. Not all the time. Not when it comes to cookies. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by doing the little crisscross thingy. Just in case you need a little ASMR. This is so fun. You're just going to lay the fork and smush. Lay the fork and smush. Now I like to kind of, you know, if it starts cracking around the edge, I want to kind of repair that as I'm going. But these are doing quite nice.
Tá, já que ele dá lei. I used to love this part when I was a kid. All right. I'm going to finish up loading the rest of these on here. And I'll catch you in just a minute. Okay, first sheet's ready to go in the oven. We're going to bake these for about eight minutes. You don't want to overbake them because that'll make them really icky. It's been eight minutes till they're pretty and golden. Well, they're peanut butter cookies, so they're already kind of golden, but a little bit more goldener than they are right now. All right, we're going to see you back here in eight minutes. Set your watch. Eight minutes. So we're back. It's a scant eight minutes later. Oh, hush. Golly. Sounds like, I don't know what, up in here. Every time something goes off, it has a different tone. Everything sings. The dishwasher sings. The microwave sings. The oven sings. The refrigerator sings. You ought to hear it around here when the power goes out and it comes back on again. Holy cow. Sounds like a drunken pinball machine. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Ooh, doggies. Oh, yeah. These are beautiful, guys. Look at that. Shoot. Somebody's going to be feeling the love tonight. had a little casualty on the field. Kind of like the 49ers. Oh! Too soon? Now, we're just going to let these cool before we pack them away anywhere. It's that simple, guys. Put that vanilla sugar. Oh. If you haven't tried vanilla sugar in your baking, I encourage you to do so. That makes a happy face out of any grumpy face. Unless, of course, you don't like the taste of vanilla. Huh. Yeah, with the 
with my <clears throat> with my homemade vanilla and then the vanilla sugar with the peanut butter and just a pinch of salt. You know guys, so I want to talk to you about that real quick. You know how whenever you're making something sweet and tasty, the recipe always calls for a little salt. Not very much, usually. Right? So, salt accentuates all the other flavors. So it pulls out the, the peanutty flavor of the peanut butter. It also pulls out the richness of the vanilla and the brown sugar. Bet you didn't know that. Or maybe you did. And I'm just, I, maybe I'm the one slow on the uptake. I don't know, you know. I've only been baking for a few years. Anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to finish up the rest. Um, this is going to yield you about three dozen cookies. Like I said, they freeze beautifully if you don't eat them all in the first night, which these are probably going to get mostly eaten between today and tomorrow. And... Yeah, that's it. It's that simple. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin the recipe down below in the description. Or in the comments. I'm sorry. In the comments. I'm new around here, okay? Cut me some slack. Give me some grace. All right, and then I'm going to finish up making the rest of them. And then it's about time for my lunchtime chat with my dear husband, Joel. And yeah, you guys have a great rest of the day. Um, I got a whole lot of content coming out this week yet. I know, today's Thursday, but I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Till we see you again, keep looking up. Say thank you. Keep that attitude of gratitude. Grab your joy by the horns. You know what? We'll catch you on the flip.